Now it is time to assemble all of our parts together. I started by weaving in the extra tail that was on the soil portion of the cactus. Now you're going to take the tail of the cactus and thread it through your yarn needle and you're going to end up attaching this portion right here to the soil. There is really no rhyme or reason of how you attach it. I just look for the best options to make sure that the two are securely attached. So I weave in through the soil part of one, through a few of the stitches, and then I go through a few of the stitches of the cactus and continue going back and forth and back and forth. At this point, make sure that your cactus and the soil are securely attached. Now it is time to knot it. So what I do is I go through the stitch and then pull, leaving a little loop. I will take the yarn needle again and through the loop, pull and tighten. I do this again to secure the stitch to make sure that I actually have a knot. Then you're going to weave the excess tail, excess yarn, through the cactus portion. And then you will end up cutting off the excess. Now it's time to choose what flower you're going to use for your cactus. I'm going to go with a little pom-pom this time. And so what I did with the two long tails that you use to tie the knots on, you're going to string one of them, or thread one of them through the top of the cactus in one direction. Then you're going to take the other string and thread it in the opposite direction through the cactus. Now normally with the two strings you would have tied your knot, but mine fell apart and so it's going to be a little wonky. So what I'm going to do again the same how we did the green portion attaching the cactus part to the soil. I'm going to thread it through the loop and then tie a knot 